Patients with Crohn's disease have had limited treatment options. Today, there is Simsia, the only pegylated anti-TNF therapy. Because of its unique design and targeted mechanism of action, Simsia may open up expanded therapeutic possibilities in the lives of your patients. Simsia is constructed differently than other biologic or traditional treatment options for Crohn's disease. In Crohn's disease, activation of macrophages is one of the mechanisms for production of TNF-alpha. TNF-alpha is at the apex of the inflammatory cascade. It is found in both soluble and membrane-bound forms. Membrane-bound TNF-alpha appears to play an important role in mediating inflammatory responses. The effects of TNF-alpha on the intestine include secretion of various cytokines from intestinal epithelial cells and disruption of the epithelial cell barrier, which results in perpetuation of the inflammation, leading to the debilitating symptoms of Crohn's, such as pain and increased stool frequency, that affect many patients. The Simsia molecule was uniquely designed to block TNF-alpha in the inflammatory cascade. Simsia is built differently than any anti-TNF monoclonal antibody. MABs are Y-shaped and may cause neutrophil degranulation in vitro. They contain an FC portion which may lead to various complications including complement-dependent or antibody-dependent cell-mediated cytotoxicity. In Simsia, the FC portion is removed, polyethylene glycol is attached to the fab, and the pegylation process enhances the pharmacokinetic profile, extending the half-life of the fab. Simsia is administered subcutaneously every four weeks, following initial doses at weeks 0, 2, and 4. The result is Simsia, the only pegylated anti-TNF for Crohn's disease. As with all anti-TNFs, there is a risk of infections, including TB. The most common adverse events in clinical trials were upper respiratory infection, urinary tract infections, and arthralgia. Simsia selectively targets TNF-alpha and has a high affinity for both membrane-bound and soluble forms. Simsia blocks the Crohn's inflammatory cascade by binding to and neutralizing TNF-alpha. The end result is a decrease in inflammation and possible reduction of the painful and embarrassing symptoms so debilitating to many Crohn's patients. Simsia may provide sustainable results with stable dosing for a broad range of patients with active Crohn's disease, regardless of prior treatment or concomitant medications. Simsia was studied in the Precise 2 pivotal trial. This was a pivotal 26-week study enrolling 668 patients. After six weeks of Simsia open-label therapy, weeks 0, 2, and 4, the 428 responders, 64%, were randomized to receive either Simsia 400 mg every four weeks or placebo. The primary endpoint was response at week 26, defined as a 100 or more point decrease from baseline in the Crohn's disease activity index. At week 26, patients who completed the study could enter a 52-week open-label extension study. The primary endpoint was safety of continuous Simsia therapy. The potential benefits of Simsia are many, including reduced signs and symptoms of active Crohn's disease. And these benefits are sustained over time. Approximately one out of two patients achieved remission at six months. Approximately eight out of 10 of those patients continuing therapy maintained remission through 18 months. Simsia is the only pegylated anti-TNF with one predictable dose administered subcutaneously every four weeks. I'm glad I found a treatment for my Crohn's that lets me get back to doing what I enjoy. Simsia may help your patients by reducing the signs and symptoms of active Crohn's disease and maintaining clinical response in adult patients with moderately to severely active disease who have had an inadequate response to conventional therapy.